okay and then the third one is the error frame okay there are about five different types of errors are detected in the canvas if one or more errors are detected the transmission is aborted this prevents all other stations or nodes from accepting the message okay so if any node in the network if it detects any kind of error it could be a bit error it could be acknowledgement error it could be crc error or whatever error it, it detects immediately it will send an error frame on receiving the error frame all other no issue will also send an error frame okay i will tell you why all other nodes also send a uh, error frame okay so once the error frame is uh, once the error is detected error frame is sent on the bus so there is a possibility of uh, retransmitting the lost messages if error continues then the stations or node may switch off itself uh, to prevent the bus from being tied up so we will discuss more about this this talks about the can bus fault confinement okay so at the at a broader level there are two types of two levels of errors are detected one is at the message level another at a bit level okay at a message level just now we have seen the data frame format so in that at a message level these are the different types of errors detected like crc error okay now the crc sequence is calculated uh, right from the start of frame till the data data bytes okay so 15 bit crc sequence is sent by the transmitter and that will be checked again at the receiving end okay whichever node receives that again it uses the same polynomial and check that crc if doesn't match then it will generate an error frame okay that is termed as a crc error then the frame check error some uh, 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 some bits in can like uh, you have seen ide and r not are sent as fixed fixed format they will be they will not change whatever may be the reason they will not change they always they will be transmitted as a, a, do, a dominant bits okay so they have to be dominant otherwise then it becomes a frame check error then i also discussed about uh, acknowledgement error if none of the nodes acknowledge the transmitter then it becomes an acknowledgement error and at bit level every node in the network when it sends uh, a bit either it could be dominant or a recessive it will sends it back if it doesn't match then it becomes a bit error but in case of acknowledgement it waits <coughs> it sends a recessive bit but it it expects a dominant bit then bit stuffing so what is bit stuffing mentioned here after five consecutive equal bits the transmitter will insert a another bit which is a complement of this five bit five consecutive bit either it is dominant or recessive so in can no node can send continuous dominant and recessive bits if it sends that means it is termed as a error frame okay okay good now coming to error frame so there are two types of error frames are transmitted in can okay there are two types of error frames one is active error frame another is a passive error frame okay there are two types of error frames one is active error frame and another is passive error frame okay listen carefully so this is a very interesting uh, topic the node which are more corrupt okay the nodes which are more corrupt they send a passive error frame the nodes which are less corrupt uh, will send a active error frame okay you can see this is a active error frame 
basically active error frame consists of a six consecutive dominant bit followed by eight recessive bits okay active error frame consists of six consecutive dominant bits as you can see in this uh, figure error frame okay active error frame consists of six consecutive dominant bits followed by eight consecutive recessive bits okay in case of passive error frame it will be six consecutive recessive followed by eight consecutive recessive bits okay and then you can see it is not only just a six consecutive recessive bit but it is a superposition of all the errors frames from all the nodes why it happens in can why it is a superposition of all the error frames because see in in can there is a concept just now i explained that there is a concept called bit stuffing okay so no node is allowed to send six consecutive recessive or a dominant bit okay but error frame itself is a six consecutive recessive uh, dominant bits okay so on receiving six consecutive dominant bits or a six consecutive recessive bit error frame is generated okay so when this error frame is generated so that means it's a six consecutive dominant bits so all other will spray, uh, nodes on the network will also send an error frame on the network whichever frame receives error frame it also sends the error frame again okay that is the reason it is superposition of all the error flags then followed by an delimiters okay so basically each node will send a six consecutive dominant bits followed by eight recessive bits so this is the active error frame then coming to passive error frame the nodes which are more corrupt okay i will tell you exactly what is the error count based on the error count they will become active error or passive error the nodes which are more corrupt will send a passive error frame so in the next slide probably we will discuss how uh, they how they send active error frame and a passive error frame okay overload frame is also similar to the uh, the active error frame here also it is a six consecutive dominant bits followed by eight recessive bits okay it's a six consecutive dominant bits followed by eight consecutive recessive bits basically overload frame is used for the the used by the slower nodes in reality overload frames are not really used so much okay but it can be used for uh, slower nodes okay is it clear is it clear okay so this is a very excellent uh, feature in can i was uh, i kept on saying now let us discuss this fault confinement uh, in can okay so can you, you see this figure here okay so there are three states in can one is uh, every node has got these three states active error active error passive and bus off these are the three different modes of uh, uh, can controller okay so and each and every node in the network has got this ec and rec that is transmit error count and a receive error count okay that means whenever there is a successful transmission of the message then this counter tec will decrement okay whenever there is a successful reception of the message then this rec counter will decrement okay and the same way whenever there is a error in during transmission then this counter will increment okay similarly rec will increment if there is a error in the reception okay based on these two counter the can controller state is decided okay if 
both the counter values are less than 127 transmit error count and a receiver error count both the counters are less than 127 then it is the can node will be error active node okay if both the counters are less than 127 then that node is a error active node the node which is error active will send active error stream okay active error stream means it is six dominant bits then eight recessive bits that is the error stream active error stream the node which is error active it will send a error active stream now if these counters are not less than 127 if any one of the counter is greater than 127 then that node will become a error passive node the error passive node will send a passive error stream okay are you able to distinguish between passive error stream and active error stream so passive error stream will be six Receive bits followed by eight, eight receive bits. Okay, so what is the advantage? Why the node which is more corrupt, right? The error active node is less corrupt. By default, all the nodes will be error active. But as the error counters increment, they become error passive. Now here, error passive nodes are sending receive bits. Error passive nodes are sending only recessive bits. What is the advantage of that? Can anyone tell me what is the advantage of uh, using uh, error passive frame? Passive error frame. Like I mentioned, passive error frame sends uh, only recessive bits okay and can is a wired and logic okay basically it's a wired and logic that means recessive bits will not have any impact on the bug if any faulty node starts sending recessive bits okay if any faulty node starts sending a recessive bit continuously okay so it is sending one if any other node sends one then the same data will be there on the bus if any other node sends zero the node which is good, which is, which is sends the dominant bit, then the bus will have a dominant bit. So that means it has no impact on the bus. So that is the reason to keep away the faulty nodes from corrupting the bus. This passive error frame is being used. But the node which is sending a passive error frame, the error counters go on incrementing. Okay. Once the error counter go on incrementing and if this transmit error counts, can you see here, if the transmit error counts process 255, then this will switch off from the network. Automatically it will switch off from itself. No need, no need uh, to control that node, faulty node. It will automatically switch off, the, switches off itself from the network. The faulty node. See, this can happen because of the if there is a loose connection in the CAN bus, CAN lines, and this can happen. The transmit error count may increment. Okay, so if the transmit error count increment and if it passes 255, then that particular node will switch off from the network. That means there is no communication. It will not send any frame further, but it will keep on listening to the bus. Okay. So this is the biggest advantage. Okay, faulty nodes automatically switching off from the network has a very good advantage. So it will not disturb any other nodes. Okay, that's the advantage. And more to that is that it will not send any data on the bus, but it will keep on listening to the bus. And if if it successfully receives after switching off from the network. If it successfully receives 128 occurrences, 128 occurrences of 11 consecutive recessive bits, okay, 128 occurrences of 
11 consecutive to residual bits then it can come back to again communication that is the biggest advantage the node which was switched off from the network because of uh, some faulty condition can again come back to communication it's a really big advantage it's a wonderful feature i feel okay and this can also happen because of a loose connection in can high and can low of can bus okay or it can come back again after the reset so by by default whenever uh, can nodes are uh, reset they become error active nodes okay is that clear it's a very good feature of uh, can i feel 